Welcome back to Roy and Rescue. I had a person email in a question regarding TIAs, transient ischemic attacks. Now, this is a really good question because a lot of times they mimic themselves as a full-blown stroke. And I always kind of communicated to my patients that an analogy that TIAs are in one aspect kind of like angina is to heart attacks. A TIA, a transient ischemic attack is just what it says it is. Transient meaning it travels, it comes and it goes, it wanders. Ischemia is any time that tissue is being starved of oxygen. An attack would be that it was a sudden onset. So a transient ischemic attack or TIA is in many cases a stroke-like symptom that comes on suddenly or over time and then disappears with no lasting effect. A stroke is more of a full-blown blockage that causes ischemia to the point of some form of damage, like a heart attack where an individual has a full occlusion or the majority of this vessel is occluded or they have a blood vessel rupture and they are having bleeding in the brain pressure and damage that way which causes ischemia as well as pressure and damage. A TIA in many cases, um, in what I always looked at in my patients was that it's a warning of potential things to come. Now it could be a weird phenomenon where somebody just passes a blood clot that dissolves and never reoccurs or they have a major constraint which is kind of rare as well, and then it disappears because it vasodilates or the vessel redilates. Or it could be a small bleed or something like that that, that resolves itself. But if a person suffers the signs of stroke, which would be left-sided or right-sided paralysis, weakness, slurred speech, drooling, drooping of one side of the face, inability to speak clearly or they speak gibberish but seem to understand you in many cases, those could all be signs of a full-blown stroke and the only way that you really would know if it's not is if the person's symptoms resolved and they resolved fairly quickly and maybe didn't come back for a while. You would still contact your medical professional and in fact if I saw someone having a TIA for the very first time I would call the ambulance because you just never know if this is a full-blown stroke or an ischemic attack that's going to self-resolve and time is tissue when it comes to strokes and heart attacks. Also a TIA could be, as I said, a warning of bigger things to come, a full-blown stroke, and this person may need to have surgery, they may need to have medications, they may need to have their blood pressure taken care of. Whatever the case may be, they should be seen by a medical professional, a physician, and I would say that this thing warrants uh, a visit to the ER. Now, if this is a, a this TIA problem is something that is ongoing, it's chronic, and your doctor has said, here's how I want you to treat it, I want you to watch it. If it doesn't resolve in a certain amount of time, I want you to go ahead and call 911 and get into the hospital. Follow your doctor's orders, obviously. And when in doubt, call 911 and we will help sort things out. So, I hope this helps. And from Roy and Rescue, keep on rescuing and have a great day. Bye-bye.